Hello, welcome back to uh, Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Uh, both will be great ways of uh, supporting my channel. I'm here to demonstrate what works for me and if you want to use this particular tool or any of the roulette tools I've developed um, throughout the years, uh, you can head over to my website to gain access to uh, most of the tools. This one's not available just yet, but it will be soon. Go to rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk to gain access to the other tools that I've developed if you're interested in using those. Remember, it is a profit and stop, hit and run. Um, you know, they're not long-term setups, these. Jump on, get a couple of hits and stop. If you start playing and you stay on for a lengthy period of time, you might get lucky and get into a value of profit at the end of it. But the chances are you're going to give, you run into, a, run into a cycle where you give money back and the amount of money you give back might um, put you into a chase mode and that's when you, you lose your money. So don't try and avoid that at all costs. So jump on, get your entertainment's worth of value out of it and stop. And hopefully if you jump on, get a couple of hits, set your targets, make your targets realistic uh, for the type of gameplay that you're playing. And you you know you should achieve those if the table's in payout mode and wants to give you those opportunities to win. So okay, so roulette profit and stop roulette tool. This is the latest uh, tool I've been working on, and this is the final tool I'm going to be um, developing as well. So this is session number nine. I've got seventy one seventy five. My target is to get three pound profit, so I can update this end value value to seventy four seventy five. Um, so I've got options of five reds, five blacks, balance builder plus, combos, randomizer, and the uh, missing section tool as well, which is uh, a default setting anyway. So I'm going to use on this setup randomizer because I've not used that one yet. 34 has just landed. Can I get my bets on? 20, 24, 31, and 12. There you go. So I'm using randomizer. Randomizer does exactly what you think it would do. Every time I click a number that drops in, whatever number drops in, if I click it, it gives me three numbers to bet on. And these are the numbers. I've done one number either side. This will give me 270 profit if it hits. And it's 21, which is a miss. So we click 21. 3, 29, and 33. And by... By using the randomizer where you click uh, where it's giving you three numbers if you do one number either side and you do a flat rate staking plan for the first three spins you can get into profit if you hit once within three spins on a flat rate staking plan this is my second bet this will give me one pound 80 profit this will get me halfway to my target just over if it hits 329 and 33 one number either side Oh, see that? It was in 35, then it wasn't. That would have been a hit. A little bit annoying, but 21-12 is a combo, so should have known that. 21-32-35. So this is my third bet, I think. I think this is my third bet. If it isn't, I'm going to double up anyway. I'm not too sure if it's my third bet or not. I think it was my third bet, that. I've doubled up anyway, but if this lands, it's a, it's a stop. And then... Uh, so 35, 32, 21, one number either side. So 21, 32, 35. Ugh, typical. That's a miss. This is randomizer, so this is what's happening. 10, 21, 32. I'm just going to double up here again. So I've done two double ups. Double up on my last spin and double up on this spin. So it's the same stake. Um, so 32, 21, and 10, one number either side, randomizer and plane, 32, 21, 10, boom, number 2, neighbor to 21, that is a hit. So that puts me to 73, which is nearly target, so 15, 31, 24, so I'm going back down to 10 pence per number now with one number either side playing the randomizer. So this will give you a bit of a clue in how the casinos work playing the randomizing, uh, the randomizer setup. Because if the casino wants you to win, they'll let you win. 
whether you use any strategy or not. Because this is completely random, these sets of numbers that I'm betting on. There you go, 31's a hit. Thank you very much. So that's got me to my target. So let's have a quick look. 76.25. So I've just made £4.50. I wanted to make £3. So I've got my target. Okay, now I've got 76 uh, 76.25. That's profit of 66.25 if I withdraw everything now. Started with £10 yesterday and now up to 76.25. I'll bring you back shortly and I'll uh, we'll, um, choose a different setup and try and get another profit of my target of £3. See you soon. I used the randomizer last time around, so now I'm going to click 5 reds, 5 blacks. And. That's actually five reds, five blacks. If I start to input the numbers, 31, 2, 31, 26, 29. It's going to highlight that bet. So I'm going to do that. 10 pence. That's my bet. So I input the numbers from the history there. From 31. So I did 31, 2, 31, 26, 29. That's five in a row. So that would sh show five reds, five blacks. Which is what you're seeing on the tool. And if this hits, I get £2.70 profit of the £3 that I'm looking for. 12 through to 4. Zero neighbours. And, ooh, that pulled it back to 7. Hmm. I have got an intersection. I'm going to do both of these bets. Repeat the bet on the zero neighbours. And I'm also going to do the 15, 18, 24. 20 pence on each of those. So I've done both. 15, 18, 21, 24, and the racetrack numbers, zero, zero neighbours. I'm going to leave this view on because then you can see the 15, 18, 21, 24. So zero neighbours and 15, 18, 21, 24. 15's my jackpot. Oh, nearly 18. It was 29. That's a little bit unlucky. I'm going to repeat the same bet. Same stake. I'm not increasing it. I'm leaving it at the same stake. Although technically, I should probably increase it on the four, on these four straight ups. So 15, 18, 21, 24. I'm expecting 29 to go to um, probably 18 or 15 for a potential hit. And if it hits, I guess that's a stop. 23. I don't have 23, unfortunately. Um, now I'm going to revert back to neighbor of zero. I'm going to put 50 pence per number because I've got a really good feeling, a strong feeling. This is going to land. So it's been 29, 7, 29, three numbers quite close to each other within three spins. Then it's moved pretty, practically half the distance away. It's going to go back towards seven neighbors here. So it's unlikely to hit on 12. 12, 4 through to 12 is the bet. Oh, it's 36. Boo. I didn't want to do 36. I'm going to repeat the bet. I'm going to chase this. and th This is a chase. I'm going to repeat the bet on a flat rate. So 50 pence again. So I should have stopped placing the bets because it's, it's gone off. The highlighted value has gone off. So I would have had four bets at this position. If you have four bets for five reds, five blacks, and you don't hit, you stop. This is what I should be doing, but I'm, I'm carrying on because I think I'm going to hit uh, close to four on this spin. Wow, 30. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do zero. I'm going to have to do 30 neighbours here. And 35. So what I've done here is I've actually done my combo number 30-35. Um, I'm going to put my combos on. I know what my combos are, so that's why I'm doing 30 with two pockets and 35 with one pocket. So 30-35 are my jackpot numbers. And it's 32. Uh, 32. No combo for 32. <laughs> So I'm down at 55, started at 76, so I'm 20 pounds down at the minute, which is not good. I'm going to do 147. So 
So if I reduce this down to 5, you can see why I'm doing that. 1, 4, 7, 10. <clears throat> so I spotted that. So 1, 4, 7, 10 are my jackpot numbers. And it's 30. Oh, look at that. 13 would have been a hit. It's 36. Ooh. Blacks. Wow. This is like screaming out these set of numbers here, but. Zero, so I don't know I'm not too sure I've not done my combo bet here but I've got partially part of that covered number four <sighs> so I don't want it to be 21 19 or 36 neighbor so you wrote thick fuck off that was in zero then it moved and we got a dealer change so we've got too many numbers highlighted now. Let's go to six. Too many numbers highlighting. Let's get rid of my combos. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking fuck. I, I, messed, I made a mess of that. I wanted to double up on the 14710. So if 10 lands, I've got more money on that. So that should be a good, a good hit. 1, 16, that was 33, went to 16. Hmm. Black, odd, first dozen. That's 11. That's what that points towards. Let's just do, just in case, it's not quite. So, first dozen's not hit for 8, blacks haven't hit for 7, odd numbers haven't hit for 6. So, I've combined all three of those to cover... 11. I'm also doing the 13 and the 15 and the 17 just in case they're dropping. But 11 would be the number. There you go. There's 11 right on cue. That is a fantastic hit. What an absolute banger. First dozen, black, odd. First dozen, black and odd. There's only one number there, number 11. And that's the number that landed. That is a stop. That's a phenomenal win. Fantastic. Absolute great setup. 102.55. What an absolute banger. That is me done. I've made 26.30 on that. My target was £3. What an absolute fucking amazing hit. Very happy with that. Now I'm up by £92.55. £10 oh, deposit yesterday. Now I'm up to 92 Now I'm up to 102.55. So I nearly made a £100 profit in two days, which is not too bad at all, is it? Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this content. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it. I'll be back again with more content later today. See you soon.